Swish! Okay, so maybe I'm not a great athlete. But this strange looking thing can't shoot a basket either. And it can't jump, swim, catch, or throw. But it's called the athlete, and it can do some pretty amazing things. NASA's athlete in action, next on Real World. This is Athlete the all-terrain hex-limbed extraterrestrial explorer. Athlete is a new robot being developed by NASA. Athlete is a really, really cool robot, and it's unlike any that I've ever seen before. Julie Townsend develops robots for NASA. It looks kind of like a spider. It's got a big ring on top, and out of each of the six corners on the ring, there is a leg. And each of those legs is a fully articulated robotic arm. It means it can move in any way that your arm can move. Each limb has a wheel on the end, which enables athlete to roll over all kinds of terrain, like the terrain you might find on the moon. And that's where this athlete is going. This six-limbed robot will support lunar exploration. The version of athlete that will go to the moon is nearly eight meters tall. That's two and a half times higher than that basketball hoop up there. It will transport heavy cargo payloads all over the lunar surface. It's even going to carry the habitat that lunar astronauts will live in. The habitat will weigh nearly 14 metric tons. That means athlete has to be strong enough to carry a school bus. When NASA sent astronauts to the moon before, they had to live in a stationary lunar lander. And for safety reasons, they could only travel short distances away from it. Having a mobile habitat like Athlete would enable would let us carry the habitat with them so that that safe distance around the habitat could move. And that way they could explore the entire moon if they had enough time. Athlete can do plenty of other things besides roll around the terrain. Each limb has a tool adapter to attach useful tools such as grippers and drills. Mounted on each of athletes six sides is a pair of stereo cameras that will show the surroundings in full panoramic 3D. And NASA is designing athletes to work together to be even more productive. Right now, NASA is testing athlete here on Earth using the mathematics concept of scaling. Scaling an object means multiplying every dimension of that object by the same number. When you scale an object, you make it bigger or smaller. This way, you change the size of the object, but not its shape. A ratio is used to show the relationship between the model and the actual object. Testing a robot of that size is very, very difficult. So we've built a smaller scale robot, about one third of the scale. It sits on the back of the truck and fits through the door of our laboratory. So it's easier for us to take it out in the field and test it, but we can use that one-third scale model to demonstrate what the robot is capable of. And then we can scale that capability up to a larger model of the vehicle. They hope to send the full-sized version to the moon, along with a team of astronauts, in about 10 years. Athlete is one of the latest in a long line of robots developed by NASA. These robots do everything from simple tasks to very complex processes. And they can do it in places where we can't presently send humans. Like the planet Mars. We send robots to the surface of Mars, where there's no air to breathe, there's no food to eat, there's no water to drink. The robot doesn't need any of these things. So a human would be very uncomfortable and have a very difficult time to survive on Mars. But for the robot, it's a much easier environment. NASA's Mars rover robots have already helped scientists learn much about Mars. All of the information that we have from the orbit of the planet, all of the close-up pictures, and especially all the pictures that we have from the surface of Mars, were all taken by robots. Not to mention the geological discoveries they have made. Robots are helping unravel many of the mysteries of the red planet. 
So, from the moon to Mars and beyond, robots are taking the first steps into the future, paving the way so we can follow.